Hello, uh, this question is about fluidization. The question is, a packed bed of spherical solid particles of density 2000 kg per cubic meter occupies a depth of 0.6 meter in a cylindrical vessel of inside diameter 0.1 meter. The mass of solids in the bed is 5 kg and the particle diameter is 300 microns. Water with a density of 1000 kg per cubic meter and viscosity of 10 to the minus 3 pascal second flows upward through the bed. Assume G is equal to 9.81 meter per uh, a square second. So the first part of the question is about what is the porosity of the packed bed? Second part is about determine the pressure across the bed when fluidized. And the third part of the question is about assuming laminar flow and that the porosity at the onset of fluidization is the same as the packed bed porosity, determine the minimum fluidization velocity, verify the assumption of laminar flow. Okay, so let's first calculate the first part, the, that is what is the porosity of the packed bed. Okay, for the porosity of the packed bed, basically you need to write the mm, conservation of mass because the mass of the solid particle is equal to density of the solid particle times the volume of this cylindrical pack okay so let's say this is your pack okay and and so that is let's say a and uh, that is the length is l okay so to calculate the, the mass of the solid is equal to the density of solid times volume which is equal to a times l but you need to multiply it by 1 minus epsilon the porosity epsilon is a porosity because uh, this volume is occupied by both the uh, gas phase and the solid phase so you need to multiply this by 1 minus epsilon to deduct or to uh, reduce the part of the volume that is occupied by the gas okay so so and from the question you can calculate a as the cross-sectional area of the bed as pi the area the uh, the diameter is given but is 0.1 uh, 0.1 with the power of 2 divided by 4 which will be equal to 7.85 times 10 to the minus 3 a square meter okay and therefore from this equation you the question is about the porosity this you can rearrange this equation and then you can calculate the uh, basically porosity will be equal to 1 minus m divided by rho s a l okay and and uh, that will be equal to basically uh, 1 minus instead of m that is 5 that is given in the question divided by rho s 2000 given in the questions area you just calculated that is uh, that is 7.85 times 10 to the minus 3 times l which is given in the questions 0.6 okay and if you do the calculation here the porosity will be calculated as 0.4692 okay that's the first part of this question the second part is that is about determine the pressure across the bed when fluidized so for that you have an, uh, an equation that you can use to calculate the pressure drop at the uh, fluidization condition that is delta p over LMF that is length at the minimum fluidization condition is equal to 1 minus porosity at the minimum fluidization condition times rho s minus rho f times g okay so here you have all the parameters you have rho s you have rho f you have g you have epsilon mf because you just calculated that and you have lmf therefore you can simply calculate the uh, delta p which will be equal to uh, which will be equal to uh, delta P will be equal to 0.6 that is LMF times uh, 1 minus epsilon uh, MF that is 
for 6, 9, 2 times uh, uh, times row S that is 2000 given in the questions minus row F that is 1000 again given uh, given in the questions density 1000 okay times G that is uh, 9.81 and that will be equal to uh, 3124 Pascal that will be the delta P okay and that's the final answer okay and the third part of the question is about assuming laminar flow and that the porosity at the onset of fluidization is the same as the packed bed porosity determine the minimum fluidization velocity verify the assumption of laminar flow so here basically you need to use Ergen's equation but but since we are assuming it's laminar flow the uh, second part of the Ergen's equation you can ignore Therefore, you can simply write delta P over L is equal to 180 mu divided by dP with the power of 2 times 1 minus epsilon with the power of 2 divided by epsilon 3 times Q. Okay? And uh, here, basically, you wanted to calculate the uh, velocity all other parameters are given epsilon is given d is given mu is given l given delta p is given you can simply calculate q so just plug all the values here delta p you already calculated 3124 divided by l that is 0 0.6 will be equal to 180 times viscosity given in the question uh, that is 10 to the minus 3 divided by dp that is 300 uh, again uh, that is given in the question that's the particle diameter 300 times 10 to the minus 6 to convert it to the uh, unit of uh, meter with the power of 2 d2 times 1 minus epsilon again you calculated the epsilon that is 0 0.4692 with the power of 2 divided by epsilon with the power of 3 4692 with the power of 3 times qmf and this equation you can simply uh, using this equation you can simply calculate QMF as 1.145 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second okay but the last part of the question is about verify the assumption of laminar flow okay to, to for the verification you need to calculate the uh, Reynolds number okay and see if Reynolds number uh, is less than 10 because for the Ergen's equation uh, to use the first part of the equation the Reynolds number should be less than 10 if the Reynolds number is more than 10 then uh, the assumption of laminar flow is not correct so for the Reynolds number Reynolds number of the of the packed bed of the packed bed is equal to uh, we have a formula for that that is equal to rho f times q times particle diameter divided by viscosity times 1 minus epsilon okay if now you have all the parameters you have the dp you have the q you just calculated you have you have the, the, uh, the density of fluid viscosity porosity if you put all this if you plug all these values here the reynolds number will be equal to 0.647 and since this is less than 10, uh, as I have said, the 10 is the upper limit for laminar flow. Therefore, the assumption of laminar flow was correct. And uh, you can, co uh, you can uh, confirm that the velocity uh, will be equal to 1.145 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. Okay, and that's the uh, final answer.